I'm in Manila! Oh man, in this video, we're gonna be exploring so many different places in Manila. We're going to an old Chinatown that's the oldest in the world. We're going to a street food and shopping area. We're going to the beach, a park, and so much more. This is gonna be one heck of a video full of different places for you to see in Manila. All right, just left the hotel. It is 9 a.m. and I am hungry. We're on our way to Chiapo Market, I think. But I heard that was a bustling place to be. And it's actually right near here, so let's go check it out. Oh man, there are a lot of people here. Woo! It is 9 a.m. Why is there so many people out and about? Oh, whoa. We got vendors selling all kinds of delicious drinks. That looks good. Some bananas over here. I think we're starting to enter the market area because I'm seeing a lot of people selling fruits and food. Oh, I can't wait. Like entering in, you see there's so many different vendors. Like, look at all this. All kinds of different things. They even got some corn over here with a whole bunch of cows, I think. Huh, whole bunch of them. I think they're pretty cute, too. Oh man, I, was, I wasn't expecting this many people to be here this early. But, huh? This market is actually pretty cool. It reminds me of a lot of the day markets back in Taiwan. There's just so many different things for you to see from foods to clothes and so much more. Oh, you even got a little kitty over here. Hi, kitty. And the best part about it is that everyone is super friendly here. Like all the vendors that stopped by, they were all waving, saying hi, hello and stuff. Oh man, the people here are just so, so nice. Oh no, city sneezing. But I'm in the mood for food because you know it's 9 a.m. and I'm hungry. I didn't eat breakfast yet, but I don't really see many people selling cooked foods over here. Whoa, cool. What is that? That looks absolutely beautiful. Huh. I think it's some type of temple or church or something. I think they're praying because I see everyone raising their hand up. I don't know what they're raising their hand up for, but I don't know if you guys know, please let me know because I really want to find out. But anyways, that's pretty cool. But back to the food. Not going to lie, this market is absolutely humongous. There's like five six blocks full of vendors selling foods clothes so much more oh man i walked around for like 40 minutes already <laughs> there's so many things moving along i think i finally found some food which is right over here Ooh. what is this quick, quick. huh quick quick oh the egg Toilet. oh how much is it 20 20 uh yeah. What is that vinegar? Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got some quick trick for breakfast. So it's fried quail eggs. I think it's fried. I know, I remember back in Houston we tried cooked before, but it was chicken eggs, but these are the real thing. Oh, I can't wait. They look so good. All right, let's give the cook a try because they look so good. Like, this is what they look like. Nice, beautiful orange balls. Oh, can't wait. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm, oh. That's actually really good. Mmm. Oh man, the cocoa itself, I thought I was going to have a crispy and crunchy texture because, you know, it's fried, but apparently it's not because it's been soaked in all that juice. So it becomes very soft and squishy. But inside, the flavor is so strong, very eggy, I guess, but it's so, so good. Plus the vinegar, I think, the, I think it's a vinegar sauce or something. Very, very tasty. A little bit sweet, a little bit tangy. Very nice. And plus it's supposed to be spicy, but in all honesty, I don't really feel the spice too much. It's just okay, but flavor is spot on. Oh man, that crack cook was so good. It was insanely cheap too. It was only 20 Philippine dollars, which I think is only one third of a dollar, 30 cents or something. Very, very cheap. Absolutely delicious. But anyways, moving on, we're gonna leave this market and head to Chinatown. So I think Chinatown is right next door to here. So I can't wait for that. Ooh, I wonder what those are. Let's see those little tricycle things over there. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if we can ride them. Oh, wow. Oh, I actually think we can ride them. Sir, sir, sir. Do you go to Chinatown? You go to Chinatown? Yeah. How much? 150. 150? 
Okay. All right, looks like we're getting in. good experience. Well, I made it. I am in Chinatown. I'm gonna just take a look at this beautiful gate that welcomes you into the opening area with the lanterns hanging up there. I think on the left side is actually a mall called the Happy or Lucky Mall or something. But what's most important is that this Chinatown is actually the oldest Chinatown in the world. Yes, in fact, they were created back in the 1500s. Way long, long time ago. It is going to be an amazing experience. But we're going to make a video on that in another video later on. For this video, we're just going to tour around, see what's happening and maybe try something to eat. Moving further along inside, you'll see that there's starting to be a whole bunch of food vendors over here. For instance, there's an Asian street food show chow over here. We've got an Asian food house over here. This looks pretty good. Huh, let's see what they have. Okay, so they've got little bowls of noodles. Oh, that looks pretty interesting. We might come back for this. Huh, we also have a Korean street food place over here. As you can see, not available. Ham and egg, cup pop whole bunch of stuff off over there that was cool but i don't know what i want though i'm hungry but yeah not that hungry so maybe we'll find something small to eat oh they got dim sum place why yang dim sum let's check that out as you can see here's the menu right here a whole bunch of their variety fairly cheap prices so you got chicken feed you got this i don't know what this is some dumplings su my beef mommy oh that looks good huh we definitely got twice though. All oh, which was really good. I don't know what I want, but I'm definitely gonna pick something. Probably the asado chow pao and the chow mai. Let's try that out. Hello. Can I try the get the this one, the asado chow pao one, and also the chow mai. Yeah. Huh? Over here. All right, just got our food. I have to say, all the food that I got was actually pretty cheap. For instance, I got one order of suma xiao mai. It was fairly cheap, and two. Uh, I think the barbecue buns, but I don't know the Filipino name, asado something. Either way, both of these came out to a total of two hundred and forty Filipino dollars. Two hundred forty—that is insanely cheap. Oh, I can't wait. First things first. Let's try the sao mai, just because you know I love sao mai. Any type of dumpling, I love, and this looks absolutely amazing. Wrapper looks super thin, super plump and meaty. I think there's some shrimp in here as well. If you see the orange parts too, oh, this looks good. Give a bite. Mmm. Oh, not bad. Oh man, the salmon I have to say is actually pretty good. The inside filling super tender, super juicy, super moist. It has a very bouncy texture. Oh, this is so good. You can immediately taste that shrimpy sensation. I don't know how much shrimp they put inside, but that is a strong shrimp overload. Outside wrapper, probably not a fan of it because I don't know. It feels very mushy. It doesn't taste like a fresh wrapper it's probably been sitting out there for quite a while but flavor is still really good hmm mm. y'all see the shrimp over here oh flavor is actually really nice if they changed the wrapper if they made a fresh i could definitely tell it would be 10 times better but still even though it's been sitting out there this is not that bad and next up we also got the i think it's the barbecue pork buns i'm not sure it's asado something if you're a filipino can you please tell me the filipino name i would really want to learn it oh this is piping hot, but I'm assuming it's the barbecue pork but just because of the red hue color. So let's see how it tastes. Actually, let's open it up for y'all. Oh man, this is so good. Ooh. Oh, look at that. It is steaming hot. You see all that smoke? Oh man, this looks so good. Oh, I have to say filling to bun ratio. 
not that impressive there's not a lot of filling but it does look very nice the meat looks so juicy oh let's give it a bite mm. oh not bad not bad at all although i have to say there's a little bit too much bun for me you know if the bun was a little bit thinner and had more filling way better but the filling side is really good it has a nice porky taste pork itself not too juicy but still flavorful has a little bit of fatty pieces in it very very good but it's all about the sauce you know the barbecue sauce i don't know what kind of sauce what how they made the sauce it feels very tomatoey okay but it's still very very good i do like the bun though like even though there's a lot of bun the bun is actually very well made nice soft loud fluffy it's almost like a pillow oh mm. Oh, that's actually really good. Like I have to say, so far, both of these meals over here in Chinatown for only 240 Filipino dollars, that's actually quite a steal. Like this is really, really tasty. Like I would highly recommend if y'all ever go to Chinatown, especially in the Philippines, definitely come here to visit. I don't know how it's called, Wai Ying Dim Sum. It's, it's located right next to the Lucky Mall and it's actually really good. They got other types of foods too if y'all want, but this, I think really nice. All right, that was some good food. Let's head back to Makati. Oh man, I am absolutely stuffed. Anyways, I made it here to Ayala Park. I have to say, this park is actually really cool. It looks so many, a whole bunch of trees, some chimes hanging off the trees, many sculptures, and so much more. But yeah, overall, I have to say, so far my experience being in Manila during day one was absolutely amazing. There's so much to see, and the people are absolutely so nice and friendly and this statement right here i totally agree with make it make it happen make it makati oh yes i'm definitely gonna make it happen like in general it's just like oh man i wasn't expecting philippines to be like this like before i came to the philippines everyone's like don't go to the philippines there's nothing to do especially manila you should go to cebu there's so much to see there but in manila there's nothing really to do which i think is so wrong because this morning i spent it's it's 12 o'clock right now, I spent four hours in Manila already, and it is absolutely amazing, so beautiful, so many places to see and do, and the food is absolutely delicious, and what is this? Like, look at this. Some type of, are those, oh no, those are ornaments. Okay, I thought those were fruits, never mind. Anyways, back to what I was saying, it's, it's just like, you know, Manila is actually has so many things for you to see and do. It's absolutely a spectacular place. I'm really glad I visited. Like I'm really surprised by how nice and friendly the people are. Very warm, very kind, very curious. Like I'm walking around with my GoPro and everyone's like, oh, hello. They're like looking around like, what is that thing? Huh? It's interesting. <laughs> now the only thing I would say that I'm kind of surprised about is definitely the traffic. Like, oh man, traffic is terrible in Manila. Like I was in Chinatown. It took me one hour to get back to Makati. That was how bad the traffic is. And it was actually quite scary. Like my uh, grab driver, like, I don't know. I, I think this is a um, screen. Okay. Anyways, my grab driver, it's like, I don't know if it's a thing with just Manila in general, but people drive like crazy. They be weaving in and out, weaving in and out, and honking the horn like a macarena. And it's just like, oh man, what a wild experience. But hey, it's Manila, and what can you do about it? It is, it's just an experience. Hmm? Camera. Huh? What? What? Camera. Are you vlogging? Yeah. Negative. Huh? Chinese, Chinese. Do you have permit? We can't vlog here? Do you have permit to vlog? Oh no, I'm just. Why do you need a permit? Permit, permit for vlog, vlogging. Oh, in here? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll leave then. Oh, no vlog. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry about that. Oh, I got kicked out the park. Apparently, you can't vlog at Ayala Park for some reason. I mean, it's a park, it's an open space. But apparently, you can't vlog because the guard had a gun on him and he was like that, that long shotgun. And he was, I guess I'll go somewhere else. I don't know where I'm gonna go yet, but we'll find some place to go. made my way to the Baywalk area, which is the beach, and I have to say, 
Wow, this beach is big. There's barely anyone here too. The sand is so white, the water, oh man. This is a nice looking beach. I was confused about the police checkpoint over there. It's just like, why do you need police at a beach? Like, isn't a beach just a beach? What, what is there to protect? Like, I don't, I don't know. But either way, the experience is still really nice. Like, the atmosphere and the experience here is so, so good. I just love the fresh smell of the ocean. Oh, it is so good over here. And best part about it is that this is only day one of my Manila Philippines experience. Like, there is so much more for me to see. Like, I'm staying here for a week, and every day I'm going to someplace new and exciting and to explore everything that Manila has to offer. Oh, I cannot wait. But yeah, that basically sums it up for this video of day one in Manila. I have to say, the experience was definitely worth it. Oh, man. But yeah, it's gonna be a good time. But anyway, that's basically it for this video day one. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you on my other Philippine videos.